What's up, what's going on, Legends? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're here in Modern Warfare Zombies, and we're using the last wonder weapon, the VR-11 only, for this entire run, as it's the only one now that we haven't done a run exclusively with. We did the Scorcher kind of by accident by getting it in a one box. We did the Ray Gun whenever they did the initial buff, and I did the Wonder Waff not all that long ago. So today we are going to visit the VR-11. Now, the idea behind this is to kind of just push it as far as we can in each of its kind of pack-a-punch levels. So we're going to start off, obviously, without Pack-a-Punch at all. We do have our VR-11 here. Personally, this is my favorite wonder weapon to use. I know a lot of you are going to say the Scorcher because it makes getting around the map significantly easier. But I do like the speed bonus from this. There are very few weapons I don't mind having as a secondary, and this has got to be one of them because you can just run so quickly with it. That is one of the benefits. Not only does it get you around the map a little bit quicker, kind of like the Scorcher, but not quite as fast. It is significantly better to use as an actual weapon when taking on zombies or, more importantly, the specials or elites. We got a mangler first. It's kind of like the perfect thing to get first. The only thing we ha don't have is much ammo, so hopefully that doesn't become a problem. All right, we didn't do a ton of damage like that. Boom, boom. It's going to be a little bit rough off the rip, it looks like, and that's okay. I kind of expected it might be. The only problem here... Hold on, let's see if I can get some of these zombies. The only problem here, again, is going to be the ammo. Boom. Yeah, there you go. Come on. I need you to eliminate the zombies, though. Get one of the... Boom. Maybe that'll help me. Let's go. Are they strong enough? Oh, he already got eliminated. He didn't even do anything. Come on. Either give me some ammo or... Hook me up. Getting plates. We have one shot left. No! Alright, this has got to be the one. Somebody's got to drop some ammo. Or I'm going to have to go get some. No? This game has is just so bad with ammo drops. Like, it shouldn't be this rare. At least we finished the contract. <laughs> that worked out. Alright, pack one wasn't the most exciting. That was funny, though. I gotta say, that was actually kind of funny. This is why I like doing these. You never know what's going to happen. You never know what kind of fun we can have. I feel like that's kind of one of the, the benefits of playing zombies, right? You get to have as much fun in whatever way you would like. As long as you're not being toxic to other players, I'm for it. Alright, so I think we go ahead and pack a punch to level 1. Mostly because that's going to, you know, probably keep us from running out of ammo at least a little bit. But let's go ahead and head over to our next contract. I'm going to go ahead and grab another one. Hopefully this time we'll be able to get through it a little bit quicker. Now, the one major benefit to this is you can pretty much do escort contracts without really any issue. I'll probably do an escort at least in Tier 2. More than likely, it's going to be in Tier 3 where we'll attempt that. That's one of the other huge values to having this. Maybe even over something like the Scorcher, I think. And at the end of the day, this one has the most use cases, right? Okay, here we go. Pack a punch, level one. Boom. Now we'll have a chance, I think. Most importantly, we'll have a little bit more ammo. All right. So far, so good. Why'd that shoot again? I did not want to shoot there. Hey. The hitbox on the Hellhounds is awful. Oh. Hurry, reload. Oh, we did reload. Boom. Come on. Yep, we're going to use that against you. The grunt's going to help us out a little bit. Hopefully I don't have to completely... Nope, at least didn't make me completely reload again. These zombies, man, they just spread out just enough to be annoying. There we go. Get him out. Get him out. Boom. Well, don't need that. I don't actually don't need that either. We did come in with extra perks, of course, because we didn't need uh, any legendary tools or epic tools or anything like, like that, giving us the, the extra space. Okay, don't give us a disciple. Whatever you do, please don't make it a disciple off the rip. Thankfully, it is a mimic, which means we can actually try it without pack a punch level two. I will say, this thing doesn't do crazy strong damage. I think as far as the damage output, I got pretty far with the ray gun with the least amount of pack-a-punch, I feel like. But it has been quite a long time since I visited it. This one is a little bit more universal because we get the advantages of being kind of fast. It does heal 
not only your dog, I think it can heal. It might be able to heal the sergeant's beret mercenary too, but to be honest, I haven't attempted that, or at least I, when I did attempt it, I don't remember if it worked or not. This thing has probably one of the most use cases of all the wonder weapons. Um, I don't know why it did more damage a couple of the times. Maybe I just hit it in a better spot. That was weird. A couple of the shots seemed like they did more. Maybe I just had to aim a little lower. There we go. Alright, we're good. That wasn't actually all that bad. We got a pack two crystal, which we already had, but that's okay. Solid. Now we can try to get another one, and if it is a disciple, so be it. Now we can actually try it. I just didn't want to get it first, you know? Just in case we struggled, wanted it to be on something else before we got that far. All right, hook me up, game. Let's get a disciple. So far, though, this is actually doing pretty good. I'm kind of curious. That that one tier one bounty I did with this thing, Packer Punch, seems so slow for an odd reason that I cannot quite put my finger on. Maybe you guys will be able to tell by watching the video, and you can tell me in the comment section below, but... I felt like that one was slow, but our tier two Mimic was pretty fast, so. All right, Mimic, where you at? I was kind of hoping this would be a Disciple. I'll give it at least one more try on the Disciple. If we don't get a Disciple in the next one, I'm going to pack to level two. Is this thing going to come out? If I need ammo, at least I can get ammo. Hopefully we won't need that. Boom. Turn that guy into a soldier. We got a recon. Let's go. All right, I'm going to need you to take him out. Yeah, yeah, let's go. Look at that. Look at those moves, bro. Oh, there's a player that needs help in tier three. Is this uh, bounty coming out? There it is. See, if I aim lower, like right here, I definitely do significantly more damage. Oh, and he somehow still grabbed me. What a G. Like we're fast enough to actually outrun that. That's a huge W. Why am I just standing in place? What the hell was that? Boom. Boom. I'm out of bullets. No. Luckily, we can go right here and get some. I will say, though, being able to outrun the orb attack from the Mimic is kind of huge. I haven't done enough just fighting with the VR-11 previous to this even know that was a possibility, but that's a that's kind of a W, if I'm being honest. Then these guys get distracted. Oh, there's two of them. We got a sniper. Too bad they don't, like, start doing stuff a little quicker, right? I feel like they just don't initiate their ability quite, quite fast enough. So they just kind of stand there. But realistically, I mean, you make yourself as many mercs as you want by shooting the zombies, and they can take care of the zombies for you. Overall, you don't have to worry about too much actual zombies as long as you can stay away from them, which allows you to do with the movement. All right, we got another Mimic, so unlucky for us. Looks like we're going pack two. I don't want to burn too much time just trying to get a Disciple. We'll get a Disciple eventually. Unfortunately for us, it wasn't this time. All right, what do we got here, Mimic? Where you at? I'm expecting you'll go down pretty quick here. Hello, where you at, Mimic? Should hit. W. Got a Sniper. Oh, that's a Disciple, but it's not the Disciple we were thinking it would be. All right, quick three shots. Not too bad. Oh, there's our guy. Yeah, see, I don't even notice the VR-11 doing more damage. But maybe it's just where we're hitting. Oh, there, there see, there I did, actually. Huh. It's so weird how, how inconsistent it seems like it is with the damage, but it definitely does more than enough. Let's not take, Let's not get it twisted. Definitely doing more than enough damage. All right, you know what? Let's try a tier two escort. Just in case we don't get a tier three escort, which is what I'm hoping we can get accomplished in this match if we get one. And we can also kind of test it out. It's going to be interesting to do this with being able to heal the ACV, not being able to shoot much. Actually, I haven't attempted to do it with only a VR-11 before, so here we go. This could be kind of fun. It's in here. Are you ready to rock and roll? I wonder if Barrera is going to be in Black Ops 6, because he is a very repetitive individual. Got to give him more voice lines. All right, we're off to a slow start. There we go. We got us a, a guy. 
Boom. Oh, we missed the group. Pit firing this is really inaccurate, isn't it? Don't. They also fired without me firing. Like, it was, like, delayed as hell. There we go. Go ahead and throw this down over there. They should go in that direction. Everybody go that way. Look at that. What? There we go. At least turn some of them. Yeah, there we go. Look at that. Let me reload. Zombies are like, hell no, you're not reloading. This is so crazy, because you can just cheese the hell out of this. Like, this is why I wanted to do this. This is kind of fun. I'll be honest. Look at that. 83% doesn't matter. As long as we don't run out of ammo, which I guess we could. That miss. They ought to make the the range a little bit better. Not a lot of ammo dropping though for this. Maybe it's because I'm using this. It's like designed not to drop as much ammo. But it definitely feels like I'm not getting crap for ammo. Okay, throw that that way. All the zombies should go in that direction. Oh, there we go. All right, my decoy doesn't exist. There we go. What the hell? Should be turning somebody. I just need ammo. Yeah, there we go. Look at this horde. We're like almost completely out of ammo. Oh, I got a bunch of them right there. That was crazy. 75 kills with melee weapons. Is it a melee weapon? Come on, drop. Drop us ammo. Somebody. I'll just have to throw that down right now. Really? Oh, we can get we can get ammo over here at the last stop. We're good. We should be good at least. I mean, we're trying to live through it all. That's going to be the huge issue we're going to run across. I mean, granted, a lot of the zombies we had just a minute ago definitely did not provide us with what we needed. All right. We're going to have to run over here as quickly as we can. We're going to have to throw this. Okay, we're going to fire that off. Just shoot that at that. Boom. Just keep shooting at it. You don't have to worry about it. All the normal rules and restrictions don't actually apply. Look at how much is going on. Still at 100% though. Such a crazy little way to cheese stuff. And most of that stuff, most of them got eliminated right there. They didn't get eliminated, they're gonna be right now. Eight seconds. Come on. Okay, hit our disciple. Might as well just use this. Hit as many of these guys as we can. I mean, it's not the most efficient thing for fighting the zombies, but it is what it is. It works. Elemental pop, cryo freeze, nothing too good. These guys are doing doing work. Oh, we got a shock trooper. What a legend. What a legend. Okay. Get rid of that guy. All right, that was uh, that was pretty fun. We, haven't, we still haven't got a Disciple contract for a bounty, though, which is kind of disappointing. And it gave us a Mangler. Man, this game really doesn't want me to fight Disciples. All right, I guess we'll go take it on really quickly here, and then I'll make my way towards Tier 3. We are still Pack Punch Level 2, and definitely haven't felt like his thing struggles too much. Obviously, it's not super ideal for hordes of zombies. It's not really created for that. But, I mean, we worked our way around that by doing the Escort and just making sure it doesn't take too much damage. That's the only thing that matters. You could probably eliminate zero zombies and still survive the contract. I wish I had some more plates, but we should be able to cook this guy. One. 
two, three. It's crazy how much damage does one shot and how little it does another. I just really can't decide if it's just not hitting a crit every single time. Even though it makes it... Like, I didn't fire right there. It just fired on its own. And he's out of here. What the hell is going on there? Oh, wow. Not what I was expecting. See, I gotta I gotta turn these guys. I need their help. And we'll hold on to a Casimir. Not ideal, not exactly what I want, but it'll work. All right, let's see how we do against a normal old Mega Bomb. I'm pretty sure this is gonna be fine. He's gonna go ahead and beam. Okay. Of course, these guys try to miss. What's this guy doing? He's coming. Like the third shot sometimes is definitely like not supposed to hit like that. Get off me. Wait. How do you not hit? Sometimes this thing is inconsistent, I tell you. Like, how does that make sense? Alright. Get rid of you. Or you're gonna become a dude. Oh, our guy. Oh, he died. What? How did he die so quick? Now I'm really confused. Now I'm actually really confused. Alright, let's go ahead and try this again. Hit him once. Should be... Sort of... Oh. There we go. Perfect accuracy. I think that's the hardest part is just getting good shots. Look how quick this guy is, though. He is moving. Yo. Yeah, there you go. Holy smokes. Boom. Let's go. Uh-huh. Let's go. Come on. Come on, Mega Bomb. Hurry up. Hey, I need you to face this way. What? Zombies coming out of the ground over here. Mega Bomb. Oh, this guy's coming to help us. I hate how these people just wander out of nowhere. Come on. This dude won't do his ability. There we go. And I got him. W. Alright, that guy can have the rare tools. If he really wants them. GG's to him. Alright, there's actually no bounties. We're gonna take a risk here, because I think I can do it. This thing's only pack two. Let's do it to the ACV. I know I still need to go pack three, but I guess the more I do without going pack three, the better it looks in my eyes. The less you're going to have to actually pull the trigger on this thing to make it good. Or make it good enough. So, this is going to be chaos. I anticipate this kind of being a problem, but we're going to, we'll give it a shot. I'm sure some randoms will be attempting to help me. You know what, I'll even throw, I'll throw the old sentry on top. I don't even have to shoot. Nope. I'm not doing that. It's a solo run, brother. Hopefully if I don't join them, they will help me less. Okay. W. Throw all that over there. How is it not trans- I was gonna say, how is it not actually getting these guys? Some of these guys should be transforming already. Keep it moving, keep it moving. We'll be at 100% for the rest of our lives, let's go. Keep it moving. Keep it moving. Every once in a while, shoot a zombie. Maybe I can turn some guys. Let's get it. Oh, that guy died instantly. We did end up getting some backup decoys. Throw that down there. Throw that right. Hit those guys all over there. See, like, what? Is it? it doesn't make any sense to me.
Yeah. Eventually I'll get one of these. There we go. Okay. Make sure I go through all this stuff. Get whatever I can. This is actually chaos. Literal chaos. But we've been able to hold it down. I mean, the whole point... This guy's helped a little bit. More than I would have liked, but I can't... You know, I can't do much about that. You can keep trying to join me, bro. I'm not inviting you. Completely de defeats the purpose of me doing a solo BR-11 run. But he, I guess if he's persistent enough, he can hang out here and help me for, for a whole lot of no rewards. Why is it only plates dropping? I literally only plates are dropping. I don't know how that's supposed to work. Oh, there's, there's ammo. Alright. Oh, I got one ammo out of that? Alright, got, I got a couple bullets. That's all I need. Yeah, let's go. I mean, it wasn't completely solo because dude helped us, but... Hey, you know what? Better than nothing. I really do need ammo. Is it only giving me one ammo back per? That's kind of insane. Especially when it takes one ammo to kill one hellhound and it doesn't do anything else. That's kind of insane. 100%. Why is that a thing? Should be definitely be given back three. But what do I know? What do I know? There's like no ammo on the ground. I guess I'm about to go get some ammo. Who's a Casimir? Uh, we got a tombstone. I don't really need a sigil. Because I can't do it. Uh, I don't think I could do a VR 11 only sigil solo. Maybe, but probably not. So for sure, the only real downside to this thing is it's much harder to rebound the ammo or regain, however you want to look at it. Technically, outside of that, we'd be we'd just be perfect. But one thing back every every so often is not very good. Why are there so many zombies right here? Is it because this dude's over here? I don't understand how that aggro works. Another player shouldn't cause that much aggro toward me. I'm just trying to run by to go. Hit the ammo. All right, see how we do against the mango. I forgot we're not even pack three. I could buy pack three after this. I guess we really didn't need it up to this point. I wish that thing wouldn't do that. That's the only like real negative outside the ammo thing I was talking about that I don't like. Climb up. Is it? It fires automatically. Like the third shot just happens to just shoot. I don't know what what's causing that or why it's doing that. I'm gonna throw this. Keep this zombie away from me. That that part's OP. Look at that. Dude just stands there. Bro, who needs Pack-a-Punch level 3 on the VR-11? Because we don't. We don't need it. Would we like it? Yes. But we don't need it. That was the whole point. Alright, let's go get Pack-3 to finish up this run here. This thing's been awesome. It's actually been one of the most fun runs I've had with just a Wonder Weapon, I think, so far. Scorcher one was cool. But... I think I definitely have a little bit more fun with this one. Alright, pack a punch level 3. I don't know what there's left for us to grab here. Oh, I can grab this. Go ahead and grab that sucker. I don't know why this guy is shooting at me. Some of these people in this match are just straight weird. Alright, Mega Bomb. I wish I could slide past the Hellhound and not get hit. Or them not just run up and bite me while I'm running. Be so much nicer. It's like forced engagement. It's like I have to fire. I have to waste a bullet no matter what. It's a requirement. Alright, there we go. Let's go ahead and reload. Okay, you guys are just going to be relentless. Got it. Okay, one. Boom. Two. Why are we lagging? Oh my god! 
Bro, it's like... It's so stupid. Like how many- look how many zombies there are. No sense behind that. I was like trying to climb, I'm getting literally pushed by zombies. At the same time. Crazy. Where's this thing aimed at? Must be aimed at one of the mercs. Perfect. There we go. Oh, that did huge damage. Come on. Yeah, let's go. Come on. Make sure we crit it. There we go. Got him. Get him out. Get him out of here. All oh, those rewards are so bad. Um. Okay, let's pick up these. Pick up more plates, right? Might as well. Got rid of that guy. See you later, pal. All right, let's grab one more bounty. Might as well see what we can get. We're able to take stuff out super quick with this. Pack three, definitely not required, though. So if you guys have a wonder weapon case available for the VR-11, you could get away with pack punch level two, go straight into tier two. or tier three, I mean, and you'd still be successful. You just have to be obviously a little bit cautious. I should have grabbed ammo before this, but I guess we'll see what happens. Oh, I see it. Throw that down, get rid of all the hellhounds and stuff. Hit him in the face. Oh my god. Why is there, like, right there, why are all those super sprinters? Oh my god, bro. It's so crazy to me how fast they make the zombies. And we got him. He's out of here. Yo, you should be changing into frickin' mercs. Get out of here. Defend me. Alright, nothing again. Why are we getting so many two-platers out of tier 3 bounties? Bro, who's doing tier 3 bounties without a two-plater? Because that's faded. Why is it? Also seems like my speed... My speed cola seems like it don't work half the time. It's weird. Alright, I want to do one last thing in this run. I want to fight one more mega bomb. Come on, Mega Bomb, come here. Alright, got rid of one face for sure. Oh, those guys all exploded. I was gonna say, wait, what happened with these guys? Okay. Should have been able to get some stuff recovered there. Oh, here it comes. This thing has been a W, though. This is... I mean, no one's going to agree with me, I think, because everyone's going to say the Scorcher. This is the best Wonder Weapon, though, in my opinion, in this, at least in this game. Get out of my way, zombie. I need homie to actually fire at us. There we go. Hit him right where the sun don't shine. Right inside the freaking face of his. Boom. Got him. Wish these hellhounds would leave me alone, though. Uh-huh. Alright, well, that was actually pretty solid. Sometimes I do wish these mercs were a little bit better or more viable than they are, but... They get the job done. This thing was never intended for you to only run the VR-11, so let's just be real. Alright, we made it over to our extract here. We pretty much were able to do... Basically everything we wanted to with pack two on the VR 11 then obviously making it pack three made it even easier This was easily the best run I had or most fun I had using a wonder weapon only for the entire run But I definitely recommend if you guys haven't already go out there and try it for yourself Give it a run just by itself as well. You guys will be successful. That's gonna wrap things up for us here Thank you guys for all support in today's video all support in the channel. I look forward to seeing y'all in the next one Peace